So the power rule is anytime you want to take the derivative in the form ax to the n. And to do that, you multiply a times n, x to the n minus 1. Let's go through some examples. First, if I want to take the derivative of 4x cubed minus 6x squared, I would go f prime of x is equal to 4 times 3 is 12. x subtract 1 would be squared. And then multiply negative 6 times 2 is negative 12. x, 2 minus 1 is 1. In my second example, dy dx this time, because it says y equals, multiply 15 times 4 is 60. x cubed, multiply 12 times 3 is 36x squared. The derivative of a constant is 0. If we think about it as x to the 0 power, then when you multiply, you get 0. And anything times 0 is 0. In my third example, f prime of x again, because now it says f of x, uh, we have fractional exponents now. That does not change the process. 2 times 1 half is 1x. 1 half minus 1 would be to the negative 1 half power. Plus 3 times 2 thirds would be 2x to the negative 1 third. Alternate answers uh, in AP land, sometimes they take fractional exponents that are negative. They bring them to the bottom. They might write them as a radical. So just keep in mind that sometimes you have to alter your answer. In my last example, dy dx is equal to uh, multiply 5 times 3 halves. That would be 15 halves. x, 3 halves minus 1, would be 1 half. And then half of 10 is obviously 5. x to the negative 1 half. 